This is the dawning of the age of hilarious, age of hilarious. Well, good afternoon, good evening, good morning, all upside down here at Happy Ask. How are you doing? It's me, Myrna Wolf. I'm so glad to be back in the saddle. Uh, felt like vacation was a little too long for my liking, and I'm always geared up at the top of the year to uh, to make good on, on some resolutions. I try not to make too many. I don't know if you make them, but... Uh, I've learned with with age and time to uh, to keep it simple, keep the numbers down when it comes to how many improvements I want to make, and and to try not to view them as improvements. But uh, today I've got something very exciting for you on Happy Esk. I have uh, an esteemed writing teacher who I've actually worked with um, on the show for an interview. Her name is Dr. Karen Agape. She runs the Karen Agape School of Writing. And uh, we have actually had some of her advertisements here on Happy Ask uh, back in the day when we were relying on on uh, such things for support. Now we just hope you'll like and share and subscribe because that's actually what's going to keep the love alive here on Happy Ask. So appreciate it if you give a thumbs up if you like what you're hearing and seeing uh, and uh, tell all your friends. I don't mind the gossip one bit. Anyway, stay tuned and I'll be back with my chat with Dr. Karen Agape. Dr. Agape, thank you so much for agreeing to be a guest on Happy Esk. Hi, Myrna. Thank you. Uh, thanks for having me. I, I'm really happy to be here. I know I'm I'm pretty revved up and pumped after taking a workshop with you and uh well I just wondered if you'd share with uh, our our beautiful listeners here in Happy Esk um uh, maybe uh one of your creativity resolutions for the new year. Um I suppose if I have one creative resolution for the new year it's uh, that I resolved to write less. Resolved to write less? I, I have to admit, I'm, I'm a little, uh, I'm a little taken aback. Um, well, I would have thought the opposite were true. Um, most people are, are constantly berating themselves for not writing enough. And, and so you're telling us that, that you're resolving to write less. Um, may I ask why? I know it sounds uh, like contrary advice, but uh, there are good reasons for writing less, Myrna. Um, one is to save trees. Uh, there are way too many people writing too many books. Um, deforestation is probably caused directly by um, prolific writing. On the other hand, uh, we also want to write less to make sure there is adequate room for the three or four James Patterson novels that come out each year. We really wouldn't want to take away from from space on shelves for those, would we? And, um, well, you, you also want to think of it as um, tantric, uh, a tantric exercise. You, the less you write, the more power you gain as a person. So there's that. And, um, Lastly, why do you? Why should you resolve to write less? Well, uh, you'll preserve your spinal and um, uh, health, and also the um, kind of uh, plumpness of your gluteus maximus, also known as your derriere, because it's it's going to flatten out if you write too much. It's it's a painful truth. I I speak from personal experience. So those are the reasons why you should resolve to write less. I see. Wow. Uh, I gotta say, I feel a little bit, a little bit chastened, um, at the, at the explanation of, of why, but, um, I wonder then if, if you could tell those of us who call ourselves aspiring writers of keen and, and, uh, oftentimes, uh, uh, overly keen, apparently, how we would go about uh, writing less. So how does one write less when one is feeling kind of keen? Um, well, it's kind of a short list. Uh, it's quite simple if you follow it with some diligence. 
So I would recommend um, drinking alcohol while working, while writing, which uh, is a known deterrent to productivity and therefore will cut back on your, your output uh, fairly significantly if you keep working at it. So um, it might take some time, but soon you'll be writing less and less. Another option is to work in a, a big box bookstore where um, you get to pack up the returns, which are the books that get sent back after uh, mere moments uh, in a stack uh, meant for display purposes, unless uh, an actual bestseller. So um, the depression will kick in and you'll soon uh, be writing less. It's almost guaranteed. Lastly, um, I recommend purchasing uh, a kneeling chair, um, an ergonomic pen, and um, the program Scrivener um, and, and other similar distractions uh, that will soon prevent you from, uh, from writing too much. Well, Dr. Agape, I, I really do uh, appreciate your candor and your, your hard-won pearls of wisdom. I know you have uh, a lot of experience both as an author and as a teacher of writing. So, I, uh, I, well, I bow to your greatness in this instance and uh, defer to your, your expertise, as the saying goes. And note to self, uh, can the, the verbiage. Anyway, I want to thank you again for being on Happy Esk, and I wish you all the best. You're so welcome, Myrna. I thank you for having me on Happy Esk, and I look forward to working with you again on another workshop at the Karen Agape School of Writing. Well, my darlings, there were some insights I really wasn't uh, expecting, but isn't that the, the whole point of life is to, to be continuously... Uh, sometimes unceremoniously surprised. So uh, with that, uh, those of you out there who are uh, working on books and collections of poems, plays, scripts, uh, all of it, uh, take a page, no pun intended, from Dr. Karen Agape, who insists that we write less, not more. And uh, well, I guess that's... Um, something to strive for, isn't it? In any case, until we meet again, just remember, I love you to bits.